what's going on welcome back to the scale garage today we're messing with the trx4m defender um had quite a few videos on these 118th scale traxxas trucks lately uh hopefully you guys are liking them uh if you haven't seen them uh go check them out but uh Today on the Defender, we're going to put the light bar kit, and I got a hitch just for like a scale accessory or whatever. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get into it. So... Traxxas light bar, part number 9789. Looks like we got some two Two light bars, uh, new grill. I'm not sure what that is. Some wiring harnesses, some zip ties, some clips, some mounts. We'll just set that off to the side for now. So, yeah, let's see what this is going to take. So this is uh, installation instructions for the Ford Bronco, which looks like that might be why this part's in there. But I'm not doing the Bronco, so I might not need that. And then here's where we start. Land Rover Defender installation right there. Pop the body off. Set the chassis out of the way for now. Remove the existing front grille from the body. Retain and reuse the screws. So that looks like just uh, two, two screws. What size are those? Okay, that came right out. Then it says, thread the front LED light bar wiring harness connector through the hole in the center of the included front grill and attach the LED light bar to the included front grill. So there must be some screws in here. And there are a couple of tiny ones here, which I'm assuming are what we're looking for. So I want to thread this and it is just barely the right size hole. Holy cow. There we go. And 
And then that's gonna do that. This will be these smaller screws here. Try to get one started. Not gonna get carried away because it's just plastic into plastic, semi fragile parts. So there's that. And then using, oh, what does it say here? Route the wire harness from the front LED light bar in the slot between the body latch and the truck body. Oh, they want it to go. Like that ish. On this side it shows, so we'll do that. Okay, let's use the existing screws just until they're snug. Again, it's plastic into plastic. There we go. And that's the front light bar. Pretty straightforward. Nice design. Ah, uh, next. Use a tapered body reamer. Not that. This. Check. Uh, carefully cut a seven millimeter hole in the front of the roof as shown. Seven millimeter will be interesting because uh, it'll just be a guess. And they're doing it in the center. trying not to push like overly hard and do any do anything I don't want to do There's a hole. I don't know if that's seven mils, but uh, we're gonna stop there for now because it's close. And remove the Bronco light bar mounts from the light bar, but retain the screws. So this light bar's already got mounts on the outer edge of it. You can see those. Those must be for the Bronco. It says to remove them. So we will. And then it says to snap the left and right roof light bar mounting brackets onto the exo cage. Thread the wiring harness connector from the roof LED light bar through the seven millimeter hole. So that's gonna be both of these. 
but these have to go on first. What's the orientation? Okay, so it looks like, if you can see the cage here, I'm gonna take this bigger hook side. Hopefully you can see that. And snap it onto the exo cage like that. Then slide it all the way forward and roll it over so it snaps on this front crossbar, just like that. And I'm gonna do that to both sides. Cool. And then I've got my light bar mounting brackets right there. Then we wanna thread this through the hole. Ooh, that fits good. Come on, let me get the second one to go right through. So close, work with me, work with me. I don't wanna make that hole any bigger. Let's try a little assistance, yes. Yes, yes. And then, we're that far. Flip over to the back page, continuing with the Land Rover. Oh, there is a little slot. Okay, this is going to be kind of hard to show you. Um, you see a slot right there between that front ring and the actual light bar. And the mount is going to go just like that. Right in that slot on both sides. Hopefully you're getting that. So then you're kind of pinched on the mount, if that makes any sense. And I'm gonna use the tiny screws that we took out from the Bronco mounts. That's not going in there how I want it to. There, I think it went. I'm not going to get carried away because I still got to get this other side at least started. So, oh, it grabbed. Holy buckets, dude. That's not. That was not the greatest. I mean, the design is good, but that does not go together easy. Holy cow. Holy cow. So then this is going to go that. What a nightmare. That is not just a simple I mean, it's not like difficult, but it isn't. It isn't super great by design. So turn the transmitter on, give it power. And it's just a mess of wire, obviously, which will have to be dealt with at some point because I have a 3D printed interior on the way for this thing. So at some point, the wires are going to have to be dealt with. But 
otherwise, I mean, looks pretty good. Gives off a ton of light. So, yeah, light bar's done after a bunch of freaking headache, but it does look good. I'll give it that. And now, for the second part of the video, at least this is pretty straightforward. It won't be that big of a deal. We are going to give this thing a receiver hitch real quick. Should be pretty straightforward. Remove the rear bumper. Take the hitch with the two supplied screws. Drop one down into the bumper so you have to find it later. Find the aforementioned screw later. Put it back where you originally put it. And again, just snug. We're dealing with plastic. And put the bumper back on. And voila. Receiver hitch. Again, that's kind of just a scale accessory for this one. I don't, I mean, it, it can pull a trailer. Um, that's not really what I do with this one. So, plug these wires back in. Controller is on, plug the battery back in. seat all that mess we got the light bars installed we got the receiver hitch installed and that's what we came to do and we did it so i'm gonna clean up the shop and stay tuned for a run video of this coming up uh i'll try to do something at night because now obviously we've got all kinds of lights on this thing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.